subscribe. All right, everyone. So free man abroad have finally traveled to another country. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Anyways, about last night. So landed in Faro Airport. It is now 10 past one. And guess what? Absolutely no taxis. So the walk is an hour and 10 minutes in pitch black roads. I don't know if you can see all of this. So we're currently on an adventure and hopefully we'll survive this. And then as soon as 58 minutes are done and we're at the hotel, it is concave. Anyways, TMA B and TMA. So here we are specifically in Portugal, in Faro, and we're gonna be showing you the top six best things to do in Faro because the top five is overrated. Now, we're gonna start the video here at the Arco de Raposo. Let's get started with the video. Right, so built in the early 18th century between 1713 and 1719 comes our very first location which is the church of our lady of carmel now why this takes particular interest of ours for one of two reasons actually one of three reasons number one is the outdoor symmetrical architecture number two is the gold uh, decorated interior and number three is one of the four chapels specifically the church of bones capella dos osos let us go inside and find out more One. All right guys, so final thoughts about that church and a few details I did miss out. So final thoughts, number one is how strikingly beautiful that gold is. As soon as you come in, it just takes you back. So definitely is a must go when you're in Faro. Number two is the Church of Bones and how eerily beautiful that is as well. Now, as, as the one thing that Shaq is mentioned is how many bones it took to actually build that particular chapel it will just blow your mind so just a couple of details number one it has two different opening times it's between 10 and 1 and they have a two hour break and it's between 3 and 6 is the next opening time and number two there is an entry fee very small two euros a pop uh, unless you're over 65 in which case it's actually one euro so definitely come check this out this was a little w right there onwards to the next location Not far from our last spot in the old town, we are here at the marina. Now, first of all, there's so many things you can do here. There's a maritime museum you can visit. There's great places to walk and enjoy the views, like the park. There's great places to eat, high store shops you can visit. And as well as that, you've got the I Love Faro sign. So this place can't be missed out. It's a great vibe. Definitely come check it out. All right guys, so we are our next activity of the day. And yes, I am on a ferry. So we are going to be discovering uh, one of the neighboring islands which surrounds the coast of Faro. And that island is Illa Deserta, which is also known as Beretta Island, famously known for its desert-like beaches, okay? And we're going to be driving, riding on the water <laughs> through Ria de Formosa, which is the national park of Faro. Okay, so let's check it out. guys we are home not literally but it feels like home we've just docked off right from the ferry onto Ila Deserta Beretta Island as I mentioned before and what else can I say it's amazing all right we've got one cafe on the island located near in the middle we've got a lighthouse 
beach is amazing. The way the water's crashing onto the rocks, the way the waves are coming in elegantly onto that seashore. Man, it's a vibe. I only wish that you were here with me. Big man ting breath. We are at Castillo Bar and it's looking good breath. It's looking real good breath. <laughs> Sorry guys, I couldn't hold it for too long, man. We are here to grab some drinks, all right, at Castillo Bar and it is known in Faro to have the best waterfront views in the whole of Faro, okay? And it's not just drinks we're here for, man. Sometimes on the occasional night, you'll have some Fardo singing. You'll know more about Fardo singing when we are in Lisbon, Pisa, anyway. Let's go and check this place out, man. Big man ting. Man got my drink here, still in it. What is this? What was it again? Virgin. Virgin Mojito. Brev. <laughs> Brev. This is um, tastes like some cash converter. Poop. <laughs> what is this? It's actually a loud drip. Dripping like cash converter. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, I'm joking. Jokes aside, obviously, if you get the reference throughout all of this, then you're a real one and you're from ends. If not, then I can't help you. It's not looking good for you, bruv. It's not looking good for you, bruv. <laughs> Go get a Virgin Mejo anyway, yeah? If it's dead, then everything else is dead, bruv. Get me. Big man thing. That's it. The end. Here in the Palace of Estoy, about a 15 minute drive from the center of Faro. Now, why did we want to mention this? We were specifically here for the gardens of Palace of Estoy, but it does unfortunately close at five o'clock. But in case you still want a little W, it's still got shades of pink and blue, so you can take an amazing Instagrammable photo. Onwards with the next one. Now, where we are right now can be accessible by car and by bus from Faro. Okay, and I would advise you come here if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of Faro. Okay, we are in the town of Lulu. Okay, and it's a beautiful small town full of historical landmarks and culture. More importantly, known for their cultural Saturday markets. Okay, this place is just so quaint. Come check this place out. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And hey, guys, comment down below. Let us know which spot you loved the most, all right? And also, we got bare videos coming from this trip. Bare, drop that lip, drop that lip. The lip bear has to videos. drop, bro. Yeah, and we're gonna leave it at that. You know what time it is? Free man aboard out, and, and peace.